Down, get it down, yeah. Like they were saying, get out, and then. So how did you get out? Potato. So how did oh, you get out? These are yeah. queens. The guy came. Gotta get myself okay. one of these. Check out this video for more if you're interested. This is Louise's trailer. How cool is that? And if you remember from last year, she leaves all her paintings out here to dry. And uh, it's my first time seeing her making dinner. So guys, this is T. Morris barbecue night at Art Open. Let's go have some burgers. This is day three at the open. We're with Elvin Mark, and we are here on um, okay, blah 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 dinosaur bridge. How do you even pronounce that? Yeah, right between County Carlo over here and County Kilkenny. Welcome to Gragnamana Town. Let's paint or sketch. Oh, morning, Alvin. How morning. are you? I'm good, thank you. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, God. It's good morning, it. Pa. Although every time I see her now, I remember those words. Or oh, that word. Titties. <laughs> <laughs> oh, blame my father for that. Right, guys. 
guys, we're still in Greg the Manor. Meet Steve. He's about to paint and check out his easel box. It is fancy and I bought it just a few weeks ago. Right, well, how heavy is this thing? Well, I think the whole kit is about seven pounds. Seven pounds, yeah. Which is a lot for the, uh, for the tripod. For the tripod. So what oh. I think what I need is to spend a lot more money on a, a tripod head. sacristans from uh, this abbey here they're gonna show me around so thank you for that <laughs> enjoy it <laughs> that's uh, Bruno and that's David I know I didn't wear my collar today oh, no but um, you have your keys to this key place and it's a, it, it's <laughs> hi I'm Kevin McPherson in a couple minutes we'll have a microphone Free paint! <laughs> and, and look at that, it's Michael Harding, and this is none other than Vicky Norman. Hello! Yeah, t tell them about what you do for Michael Harding. And, I'm an ambassador for Michael Harding, so I paint all over the world. I'm a plan out artist, give workshops, and share the joys of Michael Harding's paint. I do mixing videos on YouTube. You can find me on Vicky Norman on YouTube. Yeah, so I'll leave the link uh, down in the description box for you to check it out. Yeah. And uh, this is. Hi, Mark. I'm Mark. Hi, I travel with Vicky. Yeah. I've got got my own business that travels the world, so it's great. We just travel all over, chat to artists. Hey, Helvin! Hello, hello. Oh, oh, hello, look, hello, at hello. You. look at you. Wow. It's 10,000 years old. Casein. Yeah. It was used, it's the oldest paint used in the caves. Made from uh, the curd of milk, so you dilute it with water and an emulsion. Then the Egyptians used it, and the Etruscans used it, and then it really uh, sort of got replaced by uh, gouache, I think. But a lot of people used it for illustration. They still use it for illustration. It has a wonderful matte quality, which is light luminosity about it. Which you you know is um, I know it's matte, but it has a translucency about it as well, a clarity, which is really beautiful. So nowadays there's only about um, there's two painters in Ireland, uh, me and Colin Watson in Belfast. He did a lot of of um, KC, and there's a few in America. Mm -hmm. James there's Gurney. Gurney. Yeah. Yeah. Very few people use it now, and there's exactly. only one company in the world making these paints. Oh, so it's like acrylic, it dries as quickly It dries quickly it as faster than anything wow. else, faster than acrylic. But do you put, can you put them on a stay wet pellet where it, it um, uh, stays wet? You know? I haven't tried it, I suppose you could. You can paint over it, but it does tend to darken. I'm on camera, am I? Yeah, you are. You are. <laughs> yeah, gorgeous. And what kind of wood is this? Oh. It's just um, it's just plywood plain furry plywood. It's okay. furry. I was going to paint the background, but I'm not. I'm going to do, you know, leave it. Yeah. And just yeah. do it on the plain wood. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah, and let it pop up from yeah, the, the background. Yeah, and, yeah. The so that's what I'm up to now. Okay. <laughs> good. Thanks for sharing. How are you that. keeping on here? All good. No, good. Love, it's always a privilege to be here painting. This is Hello. the amazing Hannah Bruce Hi. and Minion over there. <laughs> Minion's gonna do some painting later. Oh, that's good. good. Check out her work. Work in progress. On. Yeah. Nice, yeah. oh, tricky bit to stop at, isn't it?
The youngest participant, yeah? What are you painting? <laughs> What's that? I don't know, flowers. <laughs> flowers. Don't know. Is this your favorite subject at school? Yeah. Yeah? I like math. Math, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's when uh, perspective comes into play. Yeah. Very good. Have fun. So ladies and gentlemen, folks from Asia, this is an apple tree. It's not ripe yet, but if it is, it'll be all gone into my tummy. Mm -mm. First time playing at this festival, yeah, and this is probably my fourth or fifth ever planar painting. Wow, wow, wow. So wow. it's a whole new, whole new world. You know? What's the difference between painting in the studio versus just being out here? I suppose obviously painting outside, you have to deal with the elements. We've been very lucky with the with the sunshine. I think outside is where you learn more you know and it's a lot more of a challenge you can become very uh in the studio it's very safe and very regimented i suppose so i'm very lucky to be spoiled with all the scenery you know yeah. and uh, i've no excuse for going out painting yeah. welcome to art in the open mm -mm.